In this video, I will show you how to use differentials to approximate function values. But first, let me show you how we can derive a new formula that will help us accomplish this. We know that the change in y, or delta y, is equal to f of x plus delta x minus f of x. This is basically y2 minus y1. We also know that you can approximate the change in y using the differential f prime of x dx. But if delta y is equal to the blue expression and delta y is approximately equal to the yellow expression, then it makes sense that the blue expression is approximately equal to the yellow expression. If we add f of x to both sides, then we get this new formula f at x plus delta x is approximately equal to f of x plus f prime of x dx. We can use this new formula to approximate function values. So given an expression that could be written as f at x plus delta x, if delta x is very small and it would be easier to evaluate f of x, you can approximate f at x plus de delta x using this new formula. So for example, let's approximate the square root of 16.5. So obviously we're not just going to put this into a calculator. We're going to uh, break it down a little bit by hand. First of all, the function we are dealing with is the square root function. So f of x is the square root of x. Notice that in our formula, we need f of x and we need f prime of x. So let's go ahead and take the first derivative as well. Remember that uh, x to the 1 half power is the same thing as the square root of x. So if you think of it this way, we can do the power rule and the 1 half goes in the front and then we will have x to the negative one-half power as we reduce the exponent by one. And uh, dropping the negative exponent part down to the denominator, this will be the same thing as one over two x to the one-half power. Uh, and at this point, I think it would be more convenient to go ahead and put it back into the form of a square root. So we have one over two square root of x. This is the first derivative. The key is to take the square root of 16.5 and rewrite it as 16 plus 0 0.5. Compare this to our formula. The 16 is the x and the 0 0.5 is the delta x. So let's keep going. This should be approximately equal to f of x, so that would simply be the square root of 16. Like, it's, like I said, the x is the 16. Then we have plus the derivative of x. So we just found the derivative to be 1 over 2 times the square root of x. And again, the x is 16. But last we have dx. The dx and the delta x are always going to be the same thing. So the uh, delta x is 0 0.5, which means that the dx is also 0 0.5. So this is going to be approximately equal to the square root of 16 is 4. And then let's simplify this down a little bit. Uh, the square root of 16 is 4 again, so that's going to be 2 times 4, which is 8. And we still have this 0 0.5. You know what, let's go ahead and write the 0 0.5 as 1 half. That way we don't have to deal with decimals right now. So this is approximately equal to 4 plus 1 16th. 4 is the same thing as 64 divided by 16. So now I have like denominators. So this will be the same as 65 sixteenths, which as a decimal 
is going to be 4.0625. So in the end, this is the approximate value of the square root of 16.5. So what we found was actually the linear approximation using 16 as the point of tangency. So just for fun, compare this to the actual value that you would get if you sort of put this into a calculator and rounded. Notice how close they are. 